This is Rock and Roll English. Real people, real English. Here's your host, Martin Johnson. Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Rock and Roll English. Episode number 116, baby. Oh yeah. In today's episode, I speak to Boom Boom Cannon, familiar voice, thank God, about fireworks night, which remember in England is the 5th of November and when everyone in England celebrates this by setting off fireworks and making fires and crazy stuff like this. Remember, all of the rock and roll vocabulary is on the website, rockandrollenglish.com. Go there, use that. And the website seems to be working. I think, I think, I think, I think I've discovered the problem. So hopefully it will work seven days a week. A website that works seven days a week. Can you imagine how great that will be? I'm sure it will be the only website in the world that works seven days a week. Anyway, that's enough of me talking. Happy listening. Boom, boom, cannon. How are you today? I'm good, Martin. How are you? Always fantastic, Boom Boom. Always fantastic. Even more fantastic now that you're back on the show. Last week we had Corporal Coma. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, God. it's good. This is this is the kind of positive uh, reinforcement I, I want at the start of a podcast. You know, I don't like to give anyone sort of positive feedback, but after yeah. Corporal Coma, <laughs> you, know, you know, he was like not pronouncing his T's again, Coma. Um, coma, I called you Coma then. <laughs> Not pronouncing his T's fucking all over the place, he was. So when dear, I say dear. all over the place, like he was confused. You would never do that, would you, Boom Boom? You love pronouncing your T's. Always try to pronounce my T's. Always. Um, I actually remember a few times you would say something like Saturday. And I would think, what the fuck is Saturday? Do you mean Saturday? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the, uh, that's the Essex, Essex twang, isn't it? The, the glottal stop, as you call it. What, I've never heard of this. What's that? I think that's the I think that's the name for the um, the way of speaking where you don't pronounce a T. Uh, is is known as the glottal stop. Wow, you learn something every day, boom boom. I've said it once. I'll say it again. Every day is a school day. This is the kind of the kind of knowledge I'm bringing to the podcast. Uh, oh yeah. Although I'm already regretting giving you positive feedback when you start telling us boring stuff like that. But you know, thanks. Thanks. <laughs> it's got it's gone to my head. Yeah, exactly. So when something goes to your head, you get sort of overconfident. Um, anyway, Boom Boom, how do we start the show? We start with a review. Oh, yeah, baby. I have actually looked for some reviews today. It takes a lot of time on iTunes to, I don't know, I'm not going to explain it. Um, but we've got one from Nat Sandy. Again, I'm not sure if that pronunciation is correct. It just says, funny, five stars. Okay. Simple, short and sweet. Yeah. Well, no, funny is the title, Boom Boom. Oh, okay. The, the, <laughs> okay. The re- the review, though, just says it is a funny way to improve English. So your analogy of that of short and sweet is actually a good one. Still applies. Um, yeah. And that was a five star iTunes review. So, you know, that's a fucking great review. Okay? Excellent. 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 The best type. Um, anyway, Boom Boom, do you know what today is? It's a big day. Well, when I say today, I mean the day the podcast is coming out. Uh, Qu- quickly do a calculation in your head. I, that's what I'm trying to do it's not your birthday uh, not my birthday no that's coming so, up though just for everyone to know if you want to send yeah. me a present that's fine <laughs> so no I don't know 5th of November boom boom oh, of course uh, fireworks bonfire fireworks night. Night. different yeah. different names for it isn't there there's bonfire night fireworks night Guy Fawkes night Guy Fawkes um, yeah I did a podcast about this last year when I spoke about the history in great detail which I'm sure as you could imagine, Boom Boom, the type of detail I was giving was very precise, very much a history lesson. Of course, of course. Yeah, basically it was just some guy that tried to blow up Parliament, kill a king, King James, I think. He was a Catholic, you know, the other king was a Protestant, something something like that, basically. Um, and it didn't work, nothing got blown up in the end. But on this day, people in Britain like to set off fireworks. So notice that I said set off. Um, lots of celebrations. Oh, yeah, boom, boom. and um, and they have the uh, the guy. So they 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 make a sort of a, this fake version of Guy Fawkes and yeah. put put it on top of the bonfire and set yeah. it on fire. Which it's pretty dark, really, isn't it? When you think about it, it's yeah, pretty. Um, in fact, this is one of the things I wanted to talk about. Well, the thing that we are talking about is bonfire night. The pros and cons of bonfire night, because essentially, Guy Fawkes was trying to kill a king. Mm. for political reasons and if i'm not mistaken boom boom that makes you a terrorist 
<laughs> yes, uh, I think so. Um, and yet we still celebrate this terrorist years later. Like, oh, that was such a great terrorist. Let's just celebrate this and now well, set off fires and stuff. I think we do. Se- we, it's kind of a celebration, but I think the the idea of putting the guy putting Guy Fawkes ah, on top he was of a the bonfire and set, setting fire to it is actually to say we're celebrating the fact that it failed ah, and okay. saying we are now going to set you on fire every I year. Mean- that, that, that's of... a lot of revenge, isn't it? Like every, uh, yeah. everyone makes mistakes in life. Okay, he made a mistake, and people are still burning him. Essentially, like hundreds of years later. Yeah, exactly. And Jesus you know, as um, we, we're both, I think, as we've discussed before, maybe on the podcast, we're not uh, pro monarchy. We're, we're not yeah, Republicans. Exactly. Um, you know, I, I think you know, I think he had a lot going for him. Yeah, <laughs> maybe we should try and do that, boo boo. Just like blow up Buckingham Palace, <laughs> really celebrate Guy Fawkes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's the way to really do it. Taking the celebrations to a new level. <laughs> um, yeah, although I'm not hundred percent sure if talking about killing the Queen is a good idea on a podcast. Maybe not the best idea. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> talk about this secretly, boo boo. Yeah, We're definitely not. We're not doing this. Um, also, I was thinking the word bonfire as well. I, mm. I thought, what's the difference between a fire and a bonfire? Because essentially it's the same thing, no? Yes. Uh, good question. Good question. Although I, I no, have no. done some research. I, I thought, it, given boom, boom. you posed the question, I thought you, you may have looked that up before the podcast. No, notice there, Boom Boom said, given that you posed the question, so basically you asked the question, and that you looked it up, that you did some research, which I did. Apparently, a bonfire, Boom Boom, is a controlled fire okay? okay my question to that is you can never control a fire okay there's no such thing as a controlled fire <laughs> good advice good advice always exactly. we're, as we're, we always like safety advice on on this podcast don't we exactly they need to listen to that health and safety podcast we did a few weeks ago boom boom yeah indeed yeah and they will find out fires are definitely not safe and it cannot be controlled uh, because this is one of the things about um bonfire night guy fawkes night fireworks night whatever you want to call it is there are lots of injuries like three thousand people every year are all injured so people say should they be banned should they say no more fireworks um so i had a look at this as well went on a website called um debate.org which i think is probably the most credible website i've actually been on to do this podcast i think for the last podcast we did boom boom i went on big penises.com <laughs> <laughs> and got some penis statistics this is actually debate.org, debate.org. This is actually like, you know this is a real website i mean not normally those those dot org websites they are <laughs> you know you can rely on those, those oh, websites yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, And 56% of people said that fireworks should be banned. 44% said no. Boom, boom. Uh, Because, as I said, you can get fireworks in the face, all of these injuries. Um, And then I spent a few minutes before we did the podcast looking for strange injuries. I was hoping to find someone that had a firework up the arse or something like that, but didn't find it, unfortunately. It was just like fireworks in the face, burnt hands. I was like, look. Everyone's had a firework in the face, okay? No one cares. Who's had a firework up the arse is what I want to know. <laughs> shame. Yeah, shame you couldn't find that. Um, yeah. yeah. I, I, I do always ask myself if someone were to, um, like, hack into my computer or something like that and find my Google searches, they would worry a lot. A Google search today was, has anyone had a firework in the arse? I think for the last podcast, like, what is the average size of a penis? There's a lot of strange stuff in my Google searches. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, you want to keep, yeah, keep that history to yourself. I think I don't know how to it's... delete the history. Boom, boom. That's what oh, really? I'm trying to do. The police, I think, are after me. Yeah, you can even set it. Uh, I mean, don't ask why I know this. You, you can set it so that it doesn't even record your history as you go along. <laughs> it, it sort of deletes every time you shut the browser down. <laughs> Just sure. uh, I think it's best if I don't ask you just, why you know that. Boom, just, boom. just okay. some advice, you know. Um, yeah, and that's it. Yeah. Just some advice. Quickly moving on from that. Um, another thing about why people say fireworks should be banned is because children sometimes are scared of them because they make loud noises, like boom, boom. Obviously, I was scared of them because I was scared of anything and everything. I was shitting my pants when I was a kid. What about you, Boom Boom? No, I was pretty. I was pretty comfortable with a firework. 
what a surprise. What pretty, a surprise. Pretty, Such pretty, a pretty real tough. man, aren't you? Yeah, Boom Boom? <laughs> yeah. But uh, dogs, on the other hand, they they are very scared of fireworks. This actually was my next point, Boom Boom. This, yeah. for me, is a pro because animals are scared of those. Like, well, that's great. If I can just put the fireworks there, then no dog will come near me. If a dog comes near me, I'll just say, look, dog, I've got a firework here. So why don't you fuck off? Yeah, I, I think you, you can't just hold a firework. I don't think they're scared of just the concept of fireworks. I think they're specifically scared of the, uh, of the noise that they make. Well, maybe I'll just make some loud noises like bang, bang, just to yeah. like shit them up a bit. So to shit them up is to make them scared. Although on the other hand, I did think maybe this could be an opportunity for me to sort of bond with dogs. So to bond, to like make a friendship with dogs because they're scared of fireworks. I'm scared of fireworks. We could yeah. start a new club of like well, there's people actually, scared of uh, fireworks. Um, there's a, I have a boring fact related to, to this subject. Oh God, here we go again. Thanks uh, a lot, Boom Boom. There's a... There's a hotel uh, near an airport here in Sweden and on fireworks night they sort of make a thing of inviting, well opening the hotel to dog owners to bring their dogs because because it's near an airport there's like a restricted area. I must admit Boom Boom I'm getting very bored listening to this. Uh, yeah, <laughs> hopefully there's going to be a funny bit in a minute. Keep going. No, I, was, I was just thinking that maybe you could check into the hotel with the with the scared dogs and spend fireworks night there, maybe. Oh, actually, it has got a good ending. Yeah, there we go. give me the details of the hotel after, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Will do. Um, and then on this debate.org, it was very much a sort of uh, a debate, obviously, with people giving their opinions in a sort of nice, respectable way. And then someone commented when, after someone made the point of animals are scared and they said, my dog is scared, he said, um, why have you got a dog? Keep the bonfire, burn the dog. <laughs> wow. I was like, fucking hell. I mean, that that's unnecessary, isn't it? And just so people know, I did not make wow. that comment okay i don't want to see any more any animals getting burnt and that comment was on debate.org exactly debate.org that's not what i expect from debate.org no, no. <laughs> I, I didn't think the debate would sink to that level that's yeah me neither lovely term though i didn't think the debate would sink to that level that it would go down to that um another point someone um made which i thought again was a good point was that guy fawkes tried to blow up parliament but actually didn't so essentially again something is being celebrated that didn't mm. happen so i was thinking if we were to celebrate other things that didn't happen we could there could be a lot of things that we could celebrate a lot that didn't happen yeah we could celebrate the fact that i didn't buy a ferrari instead i bought a citroen c3 from 2005 i don't know if i've told you about this boom boom my new car no no, you haven't. Oh, I've got a new a new set of wheels, baby. As I said, a Citroen C3 from 2005. Ooh. I can assure you it is pretty gangster. Hasn't even got a radio. But, no um, radio. <laughs> CD player? No CD player. Nothing, boom, boom. Nothing. I just have to start singing to myself. Um, very much like the other car that I had in my life. This is only the second time I've owned a car. Do you remember the first time, boom, boom? I, I do remember uh how sort of proud you were of your your last car <laughs> which just so people know was an orange voxel corsa okay when i was 17 but that on the other hand was extremely gangster okay i had like hip hop coming out of there all the time driving into school picking up bitches so bitches is a way that rappers often refer to women which isn't the nicest way i suppose to speak about women no given given that we've had it confirmed that birds is is, is a, not an appropriate term i think we can i don't even think we need to refer this one to to clarification charlie do we i think we no i don't think so i think we can safely say bitches is not okay it's um, not okay but yeah g given my my lack of knowledge about cars are, are the only question i really can ask about this new one is is what color is it because <laughs> i don't really have any other questions to ask when it comes to cars it's a light blue so a very masculine color obviously yeah gangster <laughs> very gangster i was thinking of just getting gangster sprayed on the top yeah. <laughs> making one of those videos you know like throwing money on the car or something like that on my citroen yeah um so another argument to keep them is people say if they were illegal people would buy them on the black market some lovely second conditional there if anyone's interested if they were illegal people would buy them on the black market which basically means illegally and then they give the example um of like drugs 
um, because obviously people buy, buy drugs like cocaine and stuff like that on the black market. The thing I was thinking, though, is it's a little bit more difficult to hide fireworks, isn't mm. it? So if you, if you want to buy some cocaine and do it in your house, you know, you do that in your house. If you want to buy some fireworks and set them off in the night and they're illegal, I think somehow someone will know. You, you, you're going to bring attention to yourself, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't really think of, you know, a better way of bringing attention to yourself than setting off a firework. No, no. I mean, may, maybe they could, yeah, could sort of do it as a way of celebrating taking some drugs as well, just to, just to really... <laughs> Combine of, uh, the two, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's that's not a great argument there. I don't no. think on on debate.org. Exactly. But. Again, you know, I expected more from debate.org. Although better than the let's burn the dog comment, okay? Yeah. So, there's always worse. Things can always go worse. Boom boom. Um apparently in the UK, they're actually illegal to buy at certain times of the year. You can only buy them before bonfire night, before New Year's Eve, and before Chinese, before the Chinese New Year. A bit different in Palermo, where it's firework night every day. Well, I say firework night, even firework day, because they set them off in the daytime, which I will never understand. That makes no sense. Why are they so popular in Palermo, <laughs> fireworks? I, I honestly don't know. But I can tell you, being scared of fireworks, hearing that noise, does make me shit my pants. I was actually asleep once, and I thought someone had just basically come into my room with a machine gun i was like jumping under the bed <laughs> it's like oh no it's just some fireworks what's think- the occasion what's the occasion tonight oh the occasion is i passed a test at school do we need fireworks for them do we need fireworks <laughs> but we, we do this is a sort of recurring theme of you thinking things are machine guns uh, isn't it because obviously we've had the story of the, the the motorbike that you thought was a machine gun uh, boom boom you can never be too safe okay <laughs> anyone could have a machine gun at any time okay whether that's a bike a firework I okay feel like, I need to be safe I, like I don't want head. to be killed by a machine gun boom boom okay, okay. if you want yeah. to that's fine I just feel like in your head, I don't know if it's maybe from sort of watching too many films, that in your head machine guns are far more common than they actually are in real, in real life. Because... Boom, boom. I don't know anyone that hasn't got a machine gun, okay? Everyone's got one. In England, Italy, everywhere I've been, everyone's got a machine gun. A machine gun. gun. <laughs> um, the other thing about fireworks, obviously, is that they are very expensive, um, cost a lot of money to buy and someone made the point it's literally like burning money because they cost so much and you're just burning it um, and obviously money in England has a picture of the Queen on it and there's that classic thing isn't there Boom Boom is it illegal to burn a picture of the Queen have you heard this? I've, I have heard this yeah um, I think again you, you've looked this up haven't you? <laughs> well, I'm waiting I'm pretending like oh I don't know but I, I know Boom Boom see, I know. see this is the thing where just for, just for you know the, the listeners where, where Martin knows what we're going to talk about and I don't know so uh, he, yeah. he has if it seems like he has the knowledge it's because he's looked it up beforehand whereas everything I come out with is just straight from straight from my brain um, yeah. yeah and believe me in a normal conversation with me and Boom Boom the person with the knowledge is definitely not not me okay this is why i quite enjoy the podcast because i i know where the conversation's going okay i know i'm on the back foot here yeah Yeah. lovely rock and roll vocabulary i'm on the back foot i've got a disadvantage basically um apparently it's not illegal to burn money um but it's illegal to deface it so when you deface it it's maybe when you draw a picture on it or something like that so there's a picture of the queen maybe you can draw a little moustache or something like that moustache was the first thing i thought about yeah. it's, all, it's always the first one i even looked up ways to deface money and then people were doing like really crazy stuff of like putting a picture of like teenage mutant ninja turtles making her look like ronald mcdonald from mcdonald's and i just thought what's wrong with a little moustache if you want maybe draw a little cock in her mouth okay that's the classic ones every <laughs> much more simple as well cock much and moustache are the classics <laughs> yeah <laughs> exactly so simple um anyway what do you think boom boom should fireworks be banned has debate.org convinced you in one way or the other i am going to say uh you know sticking with the theme of uh how rock and roll we are i'm actually going to say yes ban them ban them ban them yeah i don't i don't like them 
ban them. Yeah, I, I don't like them either. I'm scared of them. I think they shouldn't be given to the public, okay? Leave them to the professionals, okay? A professional firework person. Yeah, actually, to be fair, I think that's the... Yeah, I think that's the right answer here. Don't 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 sell them to the to the public. The public are idiots. We know that. Yeah, exactly. After Brexit vote, everyone knows the public are idiots. Um, me coming up with that answer though, boom boom. You think that I just came up with that just now? But obviously, I read that on debate.org. <laughs> okay, that's not my opinion. I'm not intelligent enough to make an opinion like that. <laughs> debate.org. Someone else made that comment. I have great, a feeling now that whenever you come out with anything mildly intelligent, <laughs> my first instinct is going to be to say. Have you read that on debate.org? <laughs> <laughs> and the answer will probably be yes. yes. Um, finishing with some lovely rock and roll vocabulary there when Boom Boom said, if you come up with anything mildly intelligent, so slightly intelligent. Mm. Um, anyway, thanks a lot for your intelligence on this show, Boom Boom. Cheers, mate. Thank you. We will see you soon. See you soon. Bye-bye. Okay, so that was me speaking to Boom Boom about fireworks night, bonfire night. Guy Fawkes Night, whatever you want to call it. So let's look at some of that rock and roll vocabulary. I said to him when I spoke to Corporal Coma, Corporal Coma was all over the place. So if you are all over the place, you're a bit confused and doing stupid stuff. Um, Often it's even used when you're very drunk and you're sort of walking around and you're not really in control of what you're doing and you're all over the place. Um, When I gave Boom Boom some positive feedback, he said, it's gone to my head. If something goes to your head, you start thinking you are wonderful. That's exactly why I don't give people positive feedback. Um, Remember, fireworks, what's the verb that goes before them? We set off fireworks. Um, We also had the term posed when um, Boom Boom said, I thought that given you had posed the question, I thought maybe you know the answer. So if you pose a question, you ask a question um and he said he was sure that i'd looked it up so if you look something up you do research into it um i also said i would like fireworks because they scare dogs and that will shit them up a bit so if you shit someone up you scare them for example an alarm in my house went off the other day and it really shit me up i didn't know what to do i didn't know what it was um i said the fireworks could be an opportunity to bond with dogs so if you bond with someone or something you create a stronger relationship let's say um then when i read that terrible comment that someone left about burning a dog boom boom said i didn't think the debate would sink to that level so he didn't think it would go so far down to that level um i also told boom boom i've got a new set of wheels so if you have a new set of wheels you have a new car we were also talking about the black market when i said if they were illegal people would buy them on the black market. What conditional is that? Second, baby. Um, The black market is when you buy stuff illegally, like drugs. You can't go down the street and buy drugs in the supermarket. So where do you buy them? On the black market. Boom Boom also said that on the podcasts, he's on the back foot. So if you're on the back foot, you have a disadvantage. For example, if someone from Russia, for example, says to me, let's have a competition. Who knows more about Russian history? I'm on the back foot because I'm not Russian. Um, We had the term deface something. So when you deface something, like when you deface money, it's when you draw something on the face to make the face look very stupid. Like we said, you can put a moustache, a penis in there, whatever you want. Um, Boom Boom also said, anytime I come up with anything mildly intelligent, so mildly intelligent, something a little bit intelligent, then he will know that I got it from debate.com or baby anyway remember again all of the vocabulary is on the website rockandrollenglish.com i've even done the quiz this week so go there have fun i will see you next week but in the meantime people just keep on rocking thanks so much for listening to rock and roll english for more great content and to stay up to date visit rockandrollenglish.com and facebook.com slash rock and roll english we'll catch you next time